Posters! Oh my gosh, we have posters. 2008 Rebecca, meet 2015 Rebecca, hooray. We have Benedict Cumberbatch, tons of National Geographic, a few of my paintings, and lots of color. Because I need some color in my life. My life is so dark. Yes, I'm in my pajamas, sort of. And I'm wearing very dark lipstick for the first time. Come on, Rebecca. So recently, I was in the wonderful world of New York. If you did not know that, I suggest you have a look at that video before you continue with this one. Whilst abroad, I did do a bit of shopping. I don't quite understand it, but at the moment, the conversion rate means that things are cheaper out there. It was like a third cheaper over there. And for me, it meant I could actually afford to drink Starbucks. My friend Amy and I had tons of Starbucks, although the hot chocolate in New York didn't taste the same. <laughs> It felt like it had more sugar in it. Yeah. Anyway, going back to the shopping, seeing as I did spend a fair amount and I posted a couple of things, people have said to me, Becca, can you talk about what you've bought? Yes. So in no particular order, this is the stuff I bought. When I was at Duty Free, I bought perfumes. So these are all little perfumes from Marc Jacobs. I know Marc Jacobs doesn't last as long as other perfumes, but they do smell beautiful. So I saved about £15 when I bought these, which is quite a lot of money. The next perfume or cologne I bought was this. It's Hollister California Social Cologne. Now I hate cologne. I hate the way that men smell when they use this sort of stuff. I don't find it attractive. If you cover yourself in man spray, it turns me off. It makes me feel sick. It's like the smells you spray in the bathroom. That's how it smells to me. But anyway, this is literally the only man spray that I like and can wear. Last time I was in New York, I bought some for my brother and I just, I was so jealous. It's the closest smell to the Hollister store that I can find. It's not identical, but oh, it's like syrup, chocolate and lavender all pushed together. That's how I feel. So yes, it's for men, but I like it. So if I find a man, he'll probably love this, I hope. I bought something like three mascaras when I was in New York because I left mine behind. I did that wonderful animation and the one thing that was missing was my mascara. I don't know how I didn't spot it. So I bought a cat size waterproof mascara. Then I bought a Benefit mascara. That was disgraceful. I looked like I had horrible spiders on the ends of my eyelashes. Out of desperation, I finally bought the voluminous million lashes. When I took one of my mascaras back, they allowed me to exchange it for another product. So I ended up buying some perfume. But this I find fascinating. This company is called Clean. So instead of having perfumes that all smell sweet and gorgeous, this stuff smells like laundry. This one is called Skin, and what you do is you put it on your body and then it somehow adapts to the oils in your skin. So it smells different on every single person. I tested this on my friend Amy, on my parents, and yeah, each of us smell different to each other. And I love the way it smells on me. Apparently it's meant to attract the opposite sex. Well, as I'm living in the middle of nowhere, by golly, you've got to be strong in order for the men to smell it. The other reason why I love it is because it smells like this. This is called Gesture and it was a perfume I wore in my teens. So it's very nostalgic. Okay, so that's all the perfume done. The next thing on my list you might find quite strange me talking about, but hey, it's normal everyday life for us women. My friend Amy introduced me to the world of pink. Pink is in Victoria's Secrets, um, lingerie, underwear, shop. I have been desperately looking for new bras. I don't remember the last time I bought a bra. Bra shopping is hell. But anyway, I found pink and I was in heaven. I love this so much. Look, all the bras have pink on the inside of the cups. That is on the inside. Hey. So I got two normal bras, yeah? Wires, no padding, etc. But then I found these huge padded bras. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. Hooray! When I wear them, they sort of blend into my skin, which is great. They don't just stick out. Also, it feels as though I'm not wearing a bra, so that's huge for me. The other thing about it is there's tons of padding. Until I wore these bras, I didn't know I could have a cleavage. I know I can have one now. That makes me feel good. It is so nice to wear a bra that makes me happy. Thank you, Amy, for introducing me to the world of pink. Thank you, and you have a great taste in bras. So yeah, these are my first padded bras I'm growing up. And one of the reasons why I brought so many bras is because when I bought so many, I got a free bralette thing. I don't like red. This is more for my future husband, I suppose. They only had red. I think with this I could do the cat cradle. What, what? I feel like I'm talking about bras and breasts too much, but it is very important to me. Wow! 
This feels like a bra vlog. I could actually do a bra vlog. I have kept every single bra I have ever worn since I was 12. Hoarder. I have, they're all in the box over there. Right, I'm gonna change topic, I'm so sorry. So my friend and I popped into the Monk Thrift Store, which is close to Washington Square Park. And I bought these two things, hooray! I think this was about $10 and it's from Zara. And this was just a light brown cardigan for summer. The last few things I bought were from Mac. Mac is ridiculously expensive. Well, expensive for me, very expensive. Once again, with the conversion rates, I figured out I was saving about three to five pounds per product. So I did go overboard. I will be paying for this for the next few months. So what did I buy? Well, I brought loads of brushes. I brought the 316, the lip brush, the 109 contouring brush, the 211 eyeliner brush. For the last two years, I've been using the eyeliner brushes that have come with my eyeliner gel, but they tend to last about three to four months, whereas this should last me a couple of years if I look after it well. So that was worth the money, definitely. My favorite MAC purchase is the 191 foundation brush. This has made makeup fun again. It's almost got to the point now where I'm fed up of wearing makeup. I have got two huge scars on my face at the moment. I'm like Queen Amidala 24 seven. So I have to wear tons of makeup to cover them up. I hate it. But this brush for me is exactly the same as something that I would paint with. So putting on my foundation is like I'm painting and I love the way it feels. I just love everything about this. I am far too happy about this makeup brush. I also brought some MAC concealer, and this has just made my life so much easier. This is the only product I have found that successfully covers my scars, and they stay covered for hours. Not perfect, but so close. So this has become an essential thing in my handbag recently. I'm so protective of it. Thank you so much. The last two products I brought from MAC were a contouring powder, which is dark, ooh dear. Somehow I think the guy at the shop gave me the wrong color from the one we were testing with, which annoys me a little bit, but I'm trying my best to use this as best I can. But the highlighter is wonderful. I feel like I'm learning so much about makeup. I feel like a kid. Woohoo! Just as I think I understand makeup, something comes along and just blows my mind. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. And I bought a few things on behalf of my siblings. It was so strange. I was walking around these shops with Amy shopping and I was talking to my brother and my sister on Facebook, literally taking photos of things and shopping on their behalf. It's crazy. Yes, I went to New York for ABC, but I went to New York to escape my family. And yet there they were in my hand 24 seven. It was great. I didn't know I was going to New York till about a week or so before I went. So all of this was quite spontaneous and I did not plan on doing another shopping haul. So this will be my last shopping spree for a while. I am sorry if I've been doing too many product videos. I am completely aware of it. Products are just one part of my life and I will continue to do other videos on other topics. But anyway, yes, that was all the stuff I bought when I was away. Mm. Right, that's a sign I need to go. Okay, so I shall see you in the next one. Bye everyone.